two, three, go. Hello, everyone. I'm Professor PC, and nice to see you guys another time. So this is our lesson 15, and it's talking about general modes tactics about the nomads. So last class, I'm talking about the Great War, and this proved to be a very useful defensive system towards the nomads from the outside of the Chinese mainland. Uh, so, um, so the building of the Great War is just one step because it is defensive. You, if you want to swipe all the enemies uh, and make the territory of uh, China become bigger, you have to defeat the nomads totally. So General Mo was appointed to defend uh, the north borders, but he said the best uh, defense, uh, the best defensive ways is to attack. So um, he talked with many nomads group and he found out some of the group is not very outrageous and crazy and insane but they are very helpful and friendly to uh, Qing's uh, uh, army. So he talked with these local people and uh, wanted to them to act an important part in the war. First, they sent guiders for their soldiers and to find them the best fit places to ambush the uh, ambush the uh, nomads army. And then, uh, and then when a nomads great army want to strike uh, the great war, they enter the places and they told all the local people, uh, local nomads, to join their army. And uh, according to General Meng's tactics, they joined the army and they went towards the Great War. When entering a valley, these people suddenly uh, turn turn back towards uh, the, towards the nomads from the north, and they had a very big fight. When local people is going to lose, uh, um, the emperor uh, uh, and General Meng's army suddenly appeared and smashed the, the whole nomads army. And they won um, and killed lots of Normans. Uh, uh, and for the rest of 50 or 60 years, uh, they are not much uh, threatened of the nomads. Uh, uh, nomads. Uh, but nomads appeared uh, many years later and threatened the Han dynasty, uh, dynasty very, uh, very threateningly. But Han dynasty still have ways to. Uh, uh, finally wipes, wipe out all nomads in the north and uh, united uh, the rest of the territory of modern China modern China but it is other words uh, so sometimes this story told us sometimes cooperation is better than being enemies uh, uh, being enemies it is better to unite the local people because they are more familiar with the geological features uh, cultures weapons and situations and conditions of the uh, of the enemy. So sometimes cooperation and being friend, being polite to uh, and respect the local people will help a lot for the conqueror uh, conqueror's army. So this is uh, what I'm going to talk about. Uh, uh, but it is also useful and practical in daily life. When you enter the uh, company and want to do something great, you first want to make friends and respect and be good friends with some old, elder or uh, people who has already worked in the places for many years. Uh, so this is the thing I'm going to talk about. Uh, but um, I think it could be very useful and practical and it's a uh, moral that is understood by so many people and so it became a common thing. Mm, thank you very much for listening to my uh, today's class and I hope uh, uh, you, ca you guys can still keep on listening to my classes uh, next time. Uh, thanks for your support.